Dr. Vincenzo Malachi's presentation, we'll discuss another strategy related to supporting healthy cholesterol levels. Dr. Malachi is the professor of pharmacology and toxicology, and he is the scientific director of uh, herbal and antioxidant derivatives. Professor uh, Malachi is credited for discovering the properties of bergamot juice in experimental models of vascular injury in 2000, back in 2006. And this launched him to become a worldwide leader in bergamot research. And this is bergamot specifically coming from a very particular region in Italy. He paved the way for the development of bergamonte and its use for cardiometabolic support. So with that, I'd like to welcome Dr. Malachi and we'll circle back again with questions. Dr. Malachi. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the possibility to um, discuss about the unique properties uh, of uh, this extract coming from bergamot in the management uh, of uh, uh, cardiometabolic risk. So uh, it, it is now clear that cardiovascular disease is the leading global cause of death worldwide. And uh, we expect in 2030 uh, at least 22 million deaths. So the major causes of uh, uh, cardiometabolic disorders are represented by smoking and high systolic blood pressure. However, also a consistent contribution of high free uh, serum glucose and uh, the increase in body mass index uh, are associated to the disability and injury which is associated to cardiometabolic disease. And uh, uh, today uh, we uh, uh, are able to contract the risk in a consistent way through the traditional drugs which uh, uh, are represented by the association of statins with azetimibe. However, we know that 30% of residual risk is associated to the disease, uh, mostly related to the additional intervention, which may, may be carried out in the reduction of uh, LDL cholesterol. But we know that the relevant part is related to additional inflammation and additional uh, thrombotic risk. So there is a, a huge area of the cardiometabolic risk which is not managed uh, properly through the use of traditional statins plus ezetimibe. And uh, this has been only partially modified by novel drugs such as PCSK9 inhibitors, which have been introduced in, uh, recently in the treatment uh, of cardiometabolic disease. So in, uh, in this area of uh, intervention in which we uh, may produce a further increase in the benefits in lowering cholesterol, which is the potential for nutraceutical supplementation. So we know that a lot of nutraceuticals have been claimed able to interact in different aspects of cardiometabolic risk. However, today uh, uh, we don't know if there is room enough for uh, products in which we have it, uh, only a uh, very little re reduction in the levels of uh, LDL cholesterol, in which there is very poor scientific evidence supporting the efficacy. And uh, uh, we don't know exactly for many of those products, uh, which is the biomolecular effect, uh, which uh, uh, has been shown in uh, uh, different uh, um, scientific products. And uh, uh, we don't know the impact in long-term cardiometabolic risk, and especially we don't know exactly which is the safety profile. So in the last uh, uh, few years, we uh, uh, started different of those products uh, and we discovered uh, more than 15 years ago that the uh, derivative uh, from a citrus species which is uh, the citrus bergamiris and put the bergamot which is a typical production in the south 
of Italy, uh, we have specific properties which uh, may lead to the suggestion that this product uh, is a very good product for covering the global uh, risk which is associated to this lipidemia and uh, to metabolic syndrome. Uh, the reasons are uh, mainly located the phytochemical uniqueness of this product, better absorption and, and tissue distribution, uh, well characterized mechanism of action. Uh, we studied the efficacy and safety profile in both preclinical and clinical settings, and this is expressed by, by more than 60 papers which have been published in top ranking journals and more than 15 clinical trials in which more than 2,000 subjects have been enrolled. The uh, phytochemical uniqueness is uh, represented by both quantitative uh, um, content of polyphenols, which you can find in BPF, but also in the uh, peculiar uh, composition which has been studied uh, and which has been very well characterized, in which we realized that we have not only polyphenols in a very, very large quantities, more than 75% of the composition of BPF is in crucial polyphenols, but also we have a, 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 the series of carriers which are able to produce an enhanced absorption of polyphenols and a very well distribution. And uh, um, you can see here that the, uh, uh, this allows the product to get very high concentration compared to the single polyphenols, which are when they are given alone, and is 3.5 fold increase in absorption of polyphenols in BPEF. But also, you can see here this is a TC scans in animals which have been treated in the control in animals treated with single polyphenols and the treatment with the bagamot polyphenol fraction in which you can see that we have a huge distribution through the body of animals which have been which received orally the the product and this is a very good peculiarity and is associated to a, a perfect antioxidant profile which has been uh, demonstrated in different experimental settings you can see here for instance, the expression of the receptor for uh, oxidized LDL, which is enhanced after a vascular injury, which is uh, counteracted properly by the administration of BPF. This is the representative pictures of the blood vessels uh, during the injury in which you can see the overexpression of the receptor for LOX1. And this is the beautiful response when uh, we use BPF uh, in, in a way able to get a very good uh, concentration in blood vessels. And the same is for the footprint of a over uh, production of free radical species, which is nitrotyrosine staining, in which you can see that during the injury, we have uh, not only uh, the stenosis of the vessel, but also an overexpression in uh, 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 blood vessels of nitrotyrosine, which is counteracted by BPF. And uh, um, uh, this is uh, uh, associated to uh, a powerful hypolipemic and vasoprotective properties for a series of uh, um, uh, activities which have been documented in uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 60 papers which have been published and in which we demonstrated that we have an inhibition of the absorption of cholesterol, uh, remodeling of lipoproteins and in the packaging of uh, uh, cholesterol, an improvement in uh, lipid transfer protein system, which is crucial for the uh, vascular damage you can find also for the damage in the, in the heart and other uh, uh, activities which are uh, summarized by powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect.
and inhibition of the hydroxymethyl glutalicoa reductase, which is a starting line effect. So we have a series uh, of contribution for different metabolic pathways, which are modulated by BPF, which contribute in uh, reduction of uh, uh, cardiovascular inflammation and damage. Um, the metabolic effect has been also shown uh, not only in rats, obviously, but also in uh, patients in uh, different clinical trials in which, uh, um, summarizing, we have a reduction of total cholesterol, a reduction of LDL cholesterol, an increase in HDL cholesterol, and uh, also in the reduction of triglycerides and uh, uh, serum glucose. And uh, this leads to a reduction uh, of the true inflammation you can find uh, in uh, several tissues, including li the liver. This has been published in uh, uh, scientific reports of nature in which in a model of non-alcoholic fat liver disease, we demonstrated that uh, we, we have a huge reduction in inflammation and fibrosis, uh, which is uh, the major target leading to uh, cirrhosis in the liver and in hepatocarcinoma. And uh, uh, this is also associated uh, to a change in the capacity of the liver to, to package lipoproteins uh, such as the small dense lipoproteins which have been shown to be heterogenic and uh, uh, you can see here this has been published uh, uh, six years ago in which we found that the small dense ldl are crucially reduced after treatment with the bpf thus demonstrating that we have an improvement in the capacity of the, the liver to package in the right way lipoproteins and then to reduce the uh, atherogenic activities uh, uh, which are related to the high fat diet. So in conclusion, uh, uh, the conclusion is that a better nutraceutical supplementation still represents an unmet need for managing and for counteracting cardiometabolic risk. BPF, bergamot polyphenolic fraction, has been demonstrated to represent a powerful natural resource able to produce the crucial effect in counteracting the residual cardiometabolic risk, which is a reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation. And this is associated to a series of improvements in metabolic balance, which are commonly indicated that metabolic syndrome and which is uh, uh, counteracted by the use of uh, bergamot polyphenol fraction. Uh, this is just to remind uh, which are the concentration of BPF, uh, which has been used across different studies uh, and uh, uh, these are bergamot and HP ingredients, which uh, are uh, partner of HAD and thank you for your attention. This is the group of young people working at my lab and this is uh, the um, top ranking researcher which are associated on the European Society of Cardiology, Cardiology to the Studies with BPF. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Malachi. So informative as always. Um, we do have time for some questions, and I do have some from the audience and a few of my own as well. And I'd like to um, actually start with a, a couple for you, Dr. Malachi. Um, uh, this is just sort of a, a basic question on the source material. Um, can you just clarify from what part of the plant is the raw material derived? Is it you know, fully the fruit? Does it include the peel, seed? Um, just people want a better understanding of raw material source. So uh, we, we started working uh, on the basis uh, of a traditional use of bergamot in uh, my country in which the practitioner, but also the, 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 the normal people use uh, the juice just to counteract uh, the, uh, the, the effect of uh, uh, excess of the uh, fat intake. 
And the reason uh, uh, was really curious as the dependent is not traditionally used only for this purpose, but the skin is used for the essential oil and the remaining part was uh, used for uh, veterinary use, especially. And uh, we discovered that the juice is a, a consistent source of polyphenols. And uh, uh, the reason of the successful response was mainly related to the uh, to the dry uh, juice, which is used as a powder and uh, included in uh, food supplements. Um, I, I wanted to ask you something about the populations uh, used um, when doing the testing, when doing clinical research. Um, you know, traditionally, you're talking about the use of the juice um, to address um, high fat intake. Um, but keeping it in mind that the fat intake um, in uh, in Italy is mostly coming from uh, olive oil, <laughs> which sure. uh, depending on where in Italy, but um, you know the Mediterranean diet is is well documented now to um, to show positive benefits for cardiovascular wellness. So when uh, doing uh, clinical research, did um, were the subjects um, cross cultural? Um, just you know, just just to to get a picture of that. Well, the uh, we uh, mainly addressed our attention to the uh, people with metabolic syndrome. So. Uh, with uh, uh, diabetes combined with this li li lipidemia, non-alcoholic fat liver disease, which is the typical pattern of cardiometabolic risk in industrialized countries. And uh, uh, in, in this population, the uh, multi-action activity uh, of BPF was crucial in order to reduce cardiometabolic risk. We have at the moment more than five years uh, experience in treating patients with metabolic syndrome with a very consistent and stable response, even at uh, low doses, indicating that we are crucially interacting with the consistent mechanisms leading to metabolic syndrome and uh, increase at cardiometabolic risk. All right, thank you for that. Um, uh, just uh, one more question. Well, actually just two um, <laughs> uh, for you, Dr. Malachi, right now. Um, uh, You're welcome. Yeah, we, we had a question related to arterial plaque and I know we're not treating disease here, so I'm always going to put a caveat in relatedly. Um, and, uh, you know, that's important to note uh, for dietary supplements. But um, have you um, ha has the research indicated any effect um, on with using uh, bergamonte on arterial plaque? Well, uh, it's a very good question. Since uh, we we have been looking for years uh, and uh, for centuries, maybe uh, on the development of uh, atherosclerotic plaque since we know that uh, we have plaques which remain uh, the same uh, for uh, for decades. And then there is a huge increase in the development of uh, atherosclerotic plaque, which has been not, uh, uh, which has not been clarified properly to date. Recently, we found that if we uh, use uh, BPF and bergamot derivatives, we, we have an excellent inhibition of the gut microbiota, uh, which, uh, you know, dysbiosis uh, is a crucial point in the development of cardiometabolic disorders, since the uh, gut microbiota, when is altered uh, as a consequence of high fat diet, releases uh, endotoxins, which are known to stimulate and to produce the plaque progression. And this is the reason why we uh, we are able. There is a, a a very recent report which has been published in Nature by our group, in which we illustrated very clearly which uh, is the rationale for the use of uh, uh, this supplementation in counteracting plaque development and growth. Fascinating. Um, uh, be interesting to. Um actually read about that in nature. What's, um, 
Do you do you recall the name of um, of that uh, of that study uh, in nature? Uh, the study is, uh, uh, as I can remember, the uh, effect of uh, nutraceutical supplementation in uh, counteracting uh, uh, plaque de development through the modulation of gut microbiota. Really fascinating. I sent you, um, sent you a copy. And to yeah, everyone uh, uh, asking for this material, obviously. Okay. That's, that's wonderful, actually. Yeah, we'll be able to provide that connectivity um, here uh, through, through Natural Products Insider.